Okay, so I made a small program that allows you to batch upload your NFTs to NFT Maker Pro. The first thing you have to do is just create a CSV file. In this case, I have it already created for demonstration purposes. The CSV file has to have the asset name, like this. The display name, which is just the name you want to be displayed on viewers like pool PM. The attributes, these attributes, you can name them however you want. So these columns can be named how, however you want. And this will be the values of those attributes. Uh, for the rest of the columns, besides the attributes, they have to be named ex exactly, exactly as they are in here. So the asset name has to be asset underscore name. The display name has to be display underscore name. And then we have to add the main image. In this case, uh, it's just uh, Carta World one dot png, and these images have to be inside a folder called images on the same folder as the uploader program. So here I'm, I miss the value. Then, if you want, you can add two optional columns with the with a preview image. So if you, for example, if your images are, are too high resolution and you want to add a thumbnail, you can add, add it here and specify the preview type, the image type. And these preview images have to be inside the thumbnails folder. Now this is optional, so if you want, you can just remove these two columns. Okay. So once you have that, you can just run the program. It will take a couple of seconds to load. Once it's loaded, you can open the CSV file that you just created and it will show you a metadata template that we will have to use on NFT Maker Pro. So here you can see the metadata template. You can just copy this for later. Click OK. Now we will create the project in NFT Maker Pro. We'll just name it demo project and leave the rest as default. So here is where we will replace the template to what we just created. Once it's done, we can click next and save project. So now we see we have a project with uh, zero NFTs. Next, we will have to create an API key for the upload. In this case, I will just name it demo key and we'll leave the upload permissions. We can copy this key and go back to the program and paste it. And we also need the project ID, so 20157. And that's it. Now we just have to click upload files and the program will be as non-responsive, which is something I have to work on, but if you just give it a few seconds, it will upload your file, so maybe we can refresh this. <coughs> you can see two, two files have been uploaded at the moment. You we wait a little bit longer, it will finish uploading the rest. So at the moment there's no way to know how many have been uploaded unless you refresh the page. So now five NFTs have been uploaded. takes a, a little bit of time. Oh, 
Okay, so it's done. Here I have the, res the response for the last NFT uploaded. And if uh, you want to see the responses for the rest of them, a file called responses.txt was created. So here we have the responses for all the uploads. And now we can close the program and we can check that everything went well. <coughs> so you, if I check the NFTs now, I have each NFT here with the different images and we can check the metadata and it's uh, just as we specified so we, we we can copy this and check it on pool pm for example and we can see that it worked so that's it